Hey, this is Randolph here. We're talking to Dr. Greg Zestrak. He's from BioWare, and we're going to chat all things Dragon Age Origins. Greg, can I start off, first of all, because we, um, we just played the console version of Dragon Age Origins. How hard is it to actually map those PC controls over to a console? That was a lot of work. I mean, we spent probably six months where we actually literally just destroyed the existing interface and rebuilt it right back up from the ground up. Um, the main thing we really wanted to accomplish was, was the fact that you know, Dragon Age Origins PC is a lot of stuff you can do in the game, a lot of controls. We didn't want to compromise for console players. We wanted them to have every single power available to them, but we also want to make it playable. So we actually came up with a sort of a ring structure and some hot buttons and things that actually we think really captures the game well and gives it a very good feel and actually you know, really allows console players to feel like they're in control. How similar is it to something like what you did with Mass Effect, for example? Certainly Mass Effect was a bit of an influence on it, where we do use a ring um, type effect, but, but it, for, the, for the, when you sort of pause the game, but there's actually, the ring expands outward and actually gives you multiple categories of things that you can do. So that, that fundamental mechanic actually allowed us to, to put literally dozens and dozens of powers for, I mean, again, Dragon Age, you have four characters, they all can do different things. It's a, it's a pretty big pretty big bunch of work, but we actually managed to really capture the, the feel of the game and actually also leave, it, leave the player feeling a little bit, a little more action feel, too, on the console. So are you confident you've got, I guess, most of the complexity of the PC controls in there? Did you have to make any sacrifices at all, do you think? I don't think we made any sacrifices at all. I think we actually captured, I think the key thing, too, is, you know, you, you, can, you can do it, but you want to make it still very, very playable. That was one of our other key focuses, to make sure that, you know, it was easy to play, and I think we accomplished that as well, which was probably the hardest thing uh, about the whole endeavor. Okay, so it's very close to release now for Dragon Age Origins. What is there left to do on the game? Uh, the game right now is really in the final certification phases and just the final fine-tuning of everything. I mean, a lot of the stuff that we were doing towards the end of it was making sure it was all connecting up properly to the internet and you know, the PDLC stuff being all the channels were working properly to be able to deliver that. So really the fine-tuning, a lot of the online features, and that's right where we are right now. Can we talk about DLC at all? What can you tell us about, I guess, plans for DLC for Dragon Age? I can talk about, I talk about a very high level about DLC plans for Dragon Age. I mean, the key thing being, we're, it's a big part of it. I mean, it's a big part of the franchise, a big part of what we're building. Um, you know, we're working on DLC stuff already, and I think we designed the game very much um, from the perspective of you know, supporting DLC as one of the foundations. Another key part of, of course, is the user created content, the user tool set. And actually, we're gonna, we want to allow users. Um, in, on both um, you know, platforms, uh, PC and consoles, to actually feel like they can actually have all the same features. And so we're going to try really hard on console to get some of the user-created content back, but on PC for sure, you know, you're going to be able to browse even within the game and you know, pick out, figure out which kind of modules and other things you want to add to it and actually what kind of mods you want to put into your game. So really, really huge things, and then DLC will be purchasable from the game as well, so it'll be pretty exciting. So you are planning on getting some of that user-generated content from the PC side onto the console environment? Yeah, absolutely. We're working really hard. We want to work with the folks at Microsoft and Sony to do that. Because we think it would be just a fabulous thing for, for folks on consoles to see some of the user-created stuff. And you know, given that the tool sets can only work on PC, figure out a way of getting that, you know, probably like in it, you know, in a sense, not almost like a little DLC piece itself, but get it certified and approved through Microsoft and Sony if we can. So how soon after launch can we expect the first DLC from you guys? I think we got DLC coming almost right out of the gate, like very soon after the launch phase, and then there's a whole bunch of stuff planned. And I think it'll depend on how the response is and, and what people seem to like and not like. We know we can adjust the plans based on, based on the response. Okay, thanks for that, Greg. Can you tell us what platforms and when Dragon Age Origins is coming out? Sure. Um, Dragon Age Origins is coming out on Xbox 360 and PC in early November, and then PS3 a little later in November. Thanks very much. Thank you.